Sessions confirms his continued recusal from his corrupt DOJ and special counsel with obvious conflicts charge forward uh, by uh, Jim Hoff for thegatewaypundit.com. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who recused himself from anything Russia as soon as he was sworn into office, confirmed Wednesday that he will continue with his recusal. His high standards for recusal are not consistent with his assistant AG and special counsel, who are nothing but conflicted. The corruption and lack of justice continues. Wednesday, Attorney General Jeff Sessions appeared in front of the state, uh, the Senate, excuse me, and declared that he would continue with his recusal. Attorney General Jeff Sessions kept quiet Wednesday about whether he would recuse himself from criminal investigation into Trump attorney Michael Cohen and refused to speculate on resigning should President Donald Trump choose to fire uh, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. During a hearing held by the Senate Appropriations uh, Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, Science, and Related Agencies, Sessions was pressed by Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy on whether he had honored his recusal from the investigation into Russian meddling and potential collusion with Trump campaign associates ahead of the 2016 election. Senator Leahy, I am honoring the recusal in every case, in every matter that comes before the Department of Justice. I have honored that and will continue to honor that, Sessions said. Sessions' recusal uh, was uh, conniving and dishonest. If he was going to recuse himself, he needed to share this with his president, but he did not. Since then, the, D, the U.S., DOJ, and FBI, the two entities that he oversees, have been found to be corrupt and led by criminals. Meanwhile, Sessions continues to do nothing about the obvious corruption in Washington and throughout Obama's DOJ. President Trump is well aware of this. Donald Trump's uh, tweet in April of 22nd. GOP lawmakers asking Sessions to investigate Comey and Hillary Clinton, Fox News. Good luck with that request. Sessions recused himself from anything Russia because of pressure from the MSM for supposedly chatting with the Russian during the election cycle. As a result, his crooked assistant attorney General Rod Rosenstein took over the department and created the Mueller investigation almost overnight to look into Trump-Russia collusion, which isn't even a crime in the U.S. Code. The entire investigation is unconstitutional, corrupt, and conflicted, but Sessions ignores the obvious conflicts and allows the witch hunt to continue. Mueller's team is a who's who of corrupt and conflicted Obama and Hillary cronies. As we reported over the past year, Mueller's team consists of the following. And it lists everybody here, which are pro-Hillary and pro-Obama, and have donated to them also. So Mueller also had on his team Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, the lusting couple whose texts were uncovered by the DOJIG, which show bias, contempt for pre the president, and numerous corrupt and potential criminal actions while working for the FBI. Strzok led the Hillary email investigation and let her off without even recommending a grand jury. He interviewed her without putting her under oath, without taking notes, and without taping the discussion. Page leaked information to the Wall Street Journal, as noted in the IG's McCabe memo. Both are now back at the FBI. Rod Rosenstein, who hired Mueller, has numerous conflicts of interest. It's unknown if they ever have been vetted or even declared. He is related to the corrupt Uranium One scandal, and he signed off on a FISA warrant request to spy on President Trump based on a Dosh CA created by the Clinton campaign. Despite these obvious conflicts, he has never mentioned recusing himself from office or the corrupt Mueller investigation. President Trump tweeted about this. 
much of the bad blood with Russia is caused by the fake and corrupt Russia investigation headed up by all Democrat loyalists or people that worked for Obama. Mueller is most conflicted of all, except Rosenstein, who signed FISA and Comey letter. No collision, uh, collusion, so they go crazy. Mueller may be the most corrupt. In the past, he was involved in numerous scandals related to Obama and the Clintons, where no one uh, was ever charged with crimes. His best friend is James Comey. Mueller is involved in Uranium One, and he even delivered uranium to the Russians on a tarmac in Europe, per the direction of then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. He, too, has never suggested recusing himself from the witch hunt. Sessions recuses himself for talking to a Russian, but the rest of the team has more conflicts than can accurate be, accurately be uh, tallied in a single post. The Mueller-Rosenstein Sessions investigation is corrupt based on perceived and confirmed conflicts of interest. By recusing himself, Sessions shows he is corrupt, dishonest, not able to perform his duty as AG, and part of the deep state. He must go. Yeah, it seems like that to me, because he still insists on not recusing himself, so uh, I don't know what to make of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.